I, I encourage you to check us out tomorrow at um, Hydrate the Homeless. Hydrate the Homeless is at 1950 East Watkins. And uh, you can also look up Guarded Hope. But every Sunday between 11 and 12, we're there doing prep and then we get out in the streets. You're confined to the base for your medical, for your food, for your barracks. So whatever you're dealing with, you go to the, the base hospital. The base hospital then can uh, write your prescription like anywhere else. And they can use drugs there that are not test it and, and, and basically use you as the lab rat to test out various drugs. So my body was going through certain things as a result of the things that I experienced on that base in particular. But as a whole, I, I got out and I began to understand that um, other things were happening with me that I, I didn't know was quite related to the military the, the military experience, like I was, I was starting to have muscle aches and um, joint pain, and I didn't understand what was going on. Um, it took a while before certain things kicked in because when I was young and strong, I was able to move about and do what I needed to do, and I worked hard and I, I and I, you know, did whatever I needed to do to take care of business. And then starting to slowly see my health feeling like it's being affected some kind of way. Didn't understand what exactly was happening. Ten years, I think, ten, ten years to the date of me getting out of the military, all of a sudden I couldn't get out of the bed. I was literally confined to the bed, and when I went into the doctor, I was diagnosed with fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, and a host of other autoimmune issues. But I'm out of the military, so I still don't know what's going on. I still don't understand what's happening with my body. It wasn't until May of this year, a couple of months back now, I, I get up, I look at my email, and I see that there's an article on military.com, I have it pulled up right now, researchers think that they found the cause of Gulf War illness. I said, wait a minute, have I heard of this Gulf War illness? And I didn't quite put myself in the box of Gulf War illness, even though I am a Gulf War veteran, because I did not have to go to the Gulf. But I didn't go to I didn't go to the region. So I did. I, even though I was having these sicknesses and illnesses, I didn't know that I was even a part of the whole Gulf War arena. So you're figuring you're figuring because you weren't in the vicinity, it doesn't apply. Exactly. And the way the U.S. kept trying to describe it is. Um, even in this article, that our troops hit or bombed a place over there in the plumes of smoke from the facility that was holding sarin nerve gas was uh, in, emitted in the air and it caused these people to come sick. I want to come, we're going to come right back to that. We're just going to make a take a, a brief moment to uh, make an announcement, and when we get back, I want you to continue on with this. I'm intrigued. Listen, here's the thing. We constantly ask things of others and, and, and sometimes we forget to give it back.